And we're live. <laughs> All right. Hey, everybody. We're live on a Saturday night afternoon. K-Pro did her hunt. So K-Pro has the silver coin hunt. So that's what we're going to talk about. So we might as well wait, though, for a little while for people to get in here, right? Wait, and yeah, my yeah. announcement hasn't even come up. So hold on. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. Let me try and bring it up okay. here. Okay, hold on. Let me. I'll post see. it in Facebook. It's funny because my phone came up, but not. Um, let's see. Let me go to Cal Lazar. It takes Cal a minute. Laser. I'm trying to find it myself. Oh, live now! It says live now. That's where I think I'm going. I'm going to see the chat room soon and see my. I piece. don't see it yet. No. Oh, and on and on. Okay, hold on. Okay, and let me do a pop out. Hey everybody, how's it going? Go hey, on, buddy. Hey, hey. <laughs> he's muting to go. What are you guys gonna say? Okay. Um, so let me see. Hi, Anon Anon and Lou Lee and Zappa West and Joe S and Justin and Vanilla Sky. Hi, all. What's up, everybody? Okay. Live now. What's up, buddy? What? Okay, so Mike has his kids tonight, and he's having fun over on his side of the house. So, um, yeah, Hooli's in the house. Um, and so... Um, I'll be right back. Okay. Um, as everybody... Let's see if I can get my screen. As everybody... Oh, my goodness. Something just happened on my side. Okay. So, as everybody starts filing in... Um, to let you know, I've had a hard 24 hours. So I woke up this morning and I said, I am ready to do some treasure hunting, but there's no treasures close enough to me that I was ready to go boots on the ground. So we have this silver 24 hunt. So I decided to, hey, Sledneck and hey, Jeremy. Um, so I decided to take the day, um, told the kids, get some snacks, get some drinks. We're, we're going. Um, and I had a place in mind for the silver coin hunt. Um, so I, I decided to get in the car and get it in place. And then I came back. I spent a couple hours building. It's rudimentary. It's not great. This is my first one. Um, but I decided to get the, the coin in place. Um, or I will say the item in place for this hunt, which I'll go over in a second. And so how many coins did you all have made for these hunts? Expensive to have done. So baby hustle <laughs> with a free. Um, there are 50 um, numbered coins. Um, expensive is relative. Um, more That's than true. 100, yeah, less true. than a few thousand. Um, I will say enough to go, <laughs> yeah, we're going to make this it's a little bit harder. It's not 50 bucks, I can tell you that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You good? Um, and Don't so, spill that. And, and I did feel like it was important. I approached Forest maybe, what, last fall and said this could just be something we do kind of off season where we get different coins out shannon has a couple of them or had a couple of them she already finished hers mike's doing some armchairs but for anyone that has gone boots on the ground i wanted a boots on the ground experience so i i asked him can we make up a few we made up a few it was awesome because we're not making a profit from it we're just going out um putting them all throughout the united states um I think this is the first, no, this is maybe the second um, numbered coin that is boots on the ground related. So, um, so it's just going to be, hopefully, I think I just showed Mike the, the puzzle. I think it'll be solved within a day. He's like, oh, it might take an extra day or two. If it's not solved in three or four days, I'm going to put some more hints out. This is one of those turn and burns. This is not a nine, 10 year, thousand year type of thing. Um, it's just something to, to get out there. But those coins, they're going for thousands. So um, anyway, um, I, that was the little burn my saddle today. Um, so I decided to go boots on the ground um, in hiding a <laughs> to start a treasure hunt. Mike, what did you do today? You had the same burn in your saddle, I think. We were treasure hunters today. What did you do? I did a little boots on the ground. Uh, for boots on the ground clothing treasure. Uh, if you guys don't okay. know, these are the clues right here. Boots on the ground clothing. Um, they hid a hoodie. They have it in a PVC pipe that's buried somewhere uh, down like six inches. And the first person to find it will get fifteen hundred dollars. And I'll just put it out there that I do think it is outside of Las Vegas, Nevada. 
the first verse in his, basically, if you want to look at this as a poem, uh, the first verse, I believe, uh, references Las Vegas, Nevada. So I took the boys, and we went out to look for it. We didn't find it, but I might be in the right area. I'm not sure yet. I still got to get on Google Earth Maps, Google Maps, and take a look. But we were out there for about four hours, So, and the kids were funny. I was like, all right, guys, we didn't find it. And they're like, cow lasers don't give up. Uh, let's keep going. Let's go the other way, and then let's go the other way. So we had a lot of fun. I'm tired. And I know they're tired, but um, yeah, I might have to call in sick this week and go look for it again. You never know. <laughs> so, um, so you did the the affectionately known copper. Uh, copper said on one of the, I think it was Toby's chat, like you did the walk of shame. You did the walk of shame today. Oh you? right, came back empty-handed. But um, <laughs> it's just weird how you can make so many clues fit. Like let's say I'm wrong. Let's say I'm not even in the right area, not even close. But it's just weird how many clues can fit. Some clues fit good, some don't. So I may be in the wrong area. I'm not sure. But um, it's fun. You know, it's a treasure hunt. 1500 bucks is 1500 bucks. It's nothing to sneeze at. So, uh, yeah. Right. So, um, yeah. yeah, it was a lot of fun. The boys had fun. Eric kept saying well, we were I, looking for the Jingle Bell Rock. <laughs> well, my kid said I, it was. it's pretty chilly out here. I think it was down in the yeah. 30s, 40s. And so my daughter's like, what sweatshirt do you want? I'm like, I'm a treasure hunter. Pick one. Look what she picked. All right. I've been in this all day. So it was a little chilly out, but you were asking if it was snowing. No, it, it, it was just, it was a little cold out. Um, and so, but everybody had fun. And my, my son's nine. So when I got into the clues part, my daughter was more into that. She's right. 11. Um, so that was more what it's about. And William, yo. Um, so anyway, yeah. So we were both treasure hunters today on different parts of the country and um, so I, so I tried to convince Mike and also I couldn't technically figure it out without him. Um, like, Hey Mike, let's get this one up. I actually think it will be solved before the end of the weekend or it, it, it will have some, it, it will be in um, someone's hand by the end of the weekend. I looked at it. I got no yeah. clue. I don't know. K pro seems to think it's easy, but we'll see. And super chats on, maybe she'll give you a clue. Who knows? Oh my God. No, that would not be fair, but well, I mean, everybody, I meant everybody a clue. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Um, the one thing that several people messaged me, they said, I'm not going to even do these because Brian, the NSA officer, um, did some advanced <laughs> static. Uh, or He's static good. Brian P. Yeah. And I went a totally different direction. And that's the fun part of this is there's going to be different ones from different people. And you won't know that until they, I mean, I, I'm telling it up front, but um, so baby hustle is Eric. So Eric, um, thank <laughs> you for the questions. And so you're going to see a little bit of this is, I'm going to be more um, poem, a little bit of, you, you'll see what I have in mind. Um, and hopefully everybody likes it and, then, and not everybody will, don't care. Um, but in a couple of days, if nobody solved it, we want this solved in a couple of days. Mm -hmm. um, and so if it's not, I'm going to put out some hints. And by the end of the week, I think the end of next weekend, it will be solved. Um, but literally, I think tomorrow it will be solved. But let's see. If Brian is on the case, <laughs> I think it's totally possible. So mm -hmm. anyway, so, um, so what do we want to do here, Mike? Do we want to put it up? And I can like read it or... I can just leave it there. What, what do you think, Mike? Mike, you're the boss. What do you think, Mike? I'm posting the link to, in uh, a couple of the uh, Facebook groups. So let's see oh. um, if some more people join real quick. Um, okay. I got to say thanks to Copper Dan because Copper Dan sent me this uh, Starbucks Las Vegas mug in the mail. 777, Ooh. that's my number. So nice. if you guys don't know, Starbucks have cups for every city, I believe, every city in the U.S. It might even be in the world. So if anybody wants to send a Starbucks mug from your city where you live, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll get a little collection going. So thanks, Dan. That was thoughtful. I appreciate so it. So how long in a day can you make it, Mike, without a cup of coffee? I usually only have one cup of coffee in the morning, but we just got back from hiking. I'm tired. And you were like, we got to go live and do this hunt. So I thought, let me make a cup of coffee. I real know. Quick. I was like, on you, on you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh, well, we made it out today, and then my kid. Well, I won't. That would give away the location. Never mind. Uh, say I got a little tired too today. Yeah, <laughs> I right. Won't say why until you figure out where this place is. Okay. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's uh, let's show it. You can share it, right? And it's just that uh, one page that I saw. That's it. So you got to do is hit your share button. Is, yeah. Um. Hold on. Share button. Uh, so first, couple questions. So first one, K-Pro, is did you have any help designing this other than your kids? No. So you, you hit it yourself and you created the clues yourself. 
Um, my son and your kids, yeah. The, yeah, my son helped me with some of the clues, and my daughter helped me actually put it like figure out exactly where it should be in its final resting spot. Okay. Okay. So should I share my screen now? Yeah, yeah. Show it, and then I'll ask you because I have no idea where she hid it, guys. This is my. Uh, I saw it just before we went live. I saw her sheet, but. I had not okay. had a chance to digest screen. it at all. Try and screen figure out. Screen two. I just don't want to share the wrong thing. Tell there it is. That's it. Thing. You okay. got it. You got it. Okay. So you're saying that this, I'll call it a puzzle, this one page puzzle will tell people exactly where to go to find one of the silver four Sven coins. Is that no. right? No. No? <laughs> Why it, not? The, I decided not to... Oh, um, yeah, and it says that on the bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Find the proxy and return it for coin number 47. The yeah. neon lights will help lead the way. Hmm. All right, so this is yeah. for Forest Fence Searcher coin number 47. Um, 47 and, yeah, yeah, so it's a That's proxy. So are you going to say what the proxy is? No. I think, okay. well, I will say, yes, I have. Somewhere within this one page is oh, where it says you can figure out what the proxy is. Mm. So I think, personally, I think once you get to it and see it, it's obvious. But it is one of the, it is a part of this one page item. Okay. Or one page description. So, I'll read through it real quick. A boy loves to okay. run and jump, pretends the lava jungle will swallow him whole, but he leaps the pipeline to safety, imagination... Find it through the sisters Laura and Angelina. One could be a Heinz food critic. Uh, another Heinz is also involved. Oh, I see Heinz is spelled two different ways there. Oh, interesting. Okay. Mike. Examine, capital X, examine everything. The tree may hold the package. And then we have some pictures, which I see some pictures of trees right there. So if the tree may hold the package, I wonder if that's a picture of the actual spot. It looks like it's on a river. I think there's some trees on a river right there. I can't tell what the green thing is in the other picture. Uh, but anyway, that's for people to figure out. Um, then we have some words, which I don't know what they mean. Start at the first of its kind in the country. Walk past those that are large and small. End up at the water's edge. There is a T. Go right. Go left. No. Read the signs. You are the most important part. Don't be rotten if someone beats you to it. Find the proxy and return it for coin number 47. The neon lights will help lead the way. Interesting. Now, you think this could be solved tomorrow, right? If somebody wanted to go out and get it. So, okay. So, I put together a hunt last year. And I actually put in probably 40 to 50 hours. This one, I put in probably three to four hours. Um, the hardest part, and I think this is where I kind of feel forest a little bit. Um, you never know if it's just something so obvious that somebody's going to run to. Or if it's something that's going to take a month or a year or 10 years or whatever. Um, and so, I... You know, I personally think, um, I I think I personally think it's really obvious, and it's going to be a run for the the hills kind of thing. <laughs> There's no advanced cipher or any of that. Um, I think it's obvious, but this could I I don't know. What we'll, we'll, we will see. See, it's How easy to you, the course, because you created it. So. But now that I've been boots on the ground for the uh, boots on the ground clothing hunt, I see how hard it is. I mean, I could just imagine being out there looking for for Sven's blaze, and you're like, "What is? What do I yeah, even but, looking for?" Yeah. But here's the difference. I think if you see the solve to the one that Brian did, where he was like, "And if you take this advanced cipher from the <laughs> NSA and you do this with it, and then you crunch it and you take the regression analysis of the status well, of W." It then was a hard know. cipher, but it wasn't. I mean, once you know the solution, it really wasn't. But And then you just right. had a poem you had to figure out a but location But you said for. to me, do you want to try to crack this? I want to see how long it would take someone. And yeah. I'm like, no, if you think it's hard. And it got solved in two days. This one, when someone sees the actual like solution, they're going to go, oh, my God, that was like Forrest Gump. Like, that's not <laughs> hard at all. Right. Now, are they going to be able to meld all those together i don't know right. um and that's why it's cool because if not like do you remember jenny's hunts when they first came out the scarab mm -hmm. they like <laughs> beth solved them like within an and hour to me those were hard i mean i didn't really sit down and spend a lot of time but just looking that's at it exactly. i was like i don't even know what to do here kind of like yeah. the coded forest then words in the back of our book it's like what do we do here yeah so yeah okay so so that's where i just I, I mean, I'm throwing it out. It's the first one. I think it's really obvious, but who knows? 
who knows? This is all for fun. I mean, it's a couple right. hundred dollar coin. It's not a million dollar chest, but it's a couple hundred dollar coin. Like if you put it up on eBay, I think it'll fetch. Because it has the sequence dollars. number on it. Yeah, I think yeah. so. There's some of the so, non-sequence numbered on there that I don't know if anybody are buying them because it doesn't have a sequence number on it. I think yeah, the but there's less of number, these than those. Yeah, there's only like 50 of these silver ones, guys. So and there's only 50 and right. that's it. So yeah, I think right. um, it could go for a pretty penny. I would keep so, it myself. but I would like to put out a few hints though or okay. helpful suggestions for people mm -hmm. um so the first is this is an east or southern hunt so east coast southern type of hunt meaning i live in raleigh it is a one day drive to get there and back from raleigh so to get it out to raleigh its location, north carolina and, okay raleigh north carolina so nope. if you're going more than a day's drive or a half day's drive out and back you're not in the right location. Okay. Is that good, Mike? Yeah, yeah. So at least people aren't looking in California and Texas, and they have an idea that it's around the Raleigh, North Carolina area. Now, that could be six hours, you know, six hours there, six hours back. And you probably didn't do that, maybe four or five hours. But, yeah, I got you. I got yeah. you. Yeah. We have okay. hardworking men like William in Florida that I think puts in a 10, 12-hour day. There's some people like me that <laughs> might only put in a four, six-hour day. So I don't know how long that is. I just say, in a day, like, I woke up with the kids. I said, let's go. And then we got back before this time. So and that tells you about the right amount of time. Did you already know the location or did you kind of say, let's go somewhere and look around. And once you were there, you said, okay, yeah, we can. Did you have to go to a couple different places to find a hiding spot? No, there was one, there was one general area that I really liked because I'd been there a few times. I didn't mm -hmm. know exactly the location because now you have an item that's about this big. And I'll tell you, it's about that big. About the size of the coin, it's a little. It's actually a little bit smaller, and I wanted it to this be. This is in the a size of the coin, just so people know, in case we have any new people. That is the coin. Yeah. Okay. So I wanted it to be something that was about that size that somebody can't just stumble upon. That mm -hmm. is a little bit out of uh, out of the way, but something that is relatively close. So, um, so I knew I want. I knew the general area I wanted it in. I didn't know the exact area I wanted it in. And of course, it was an area that I will say was super fun for my nine-year-old. So he totally got distracted very quickly. <laughs> My 11-year-old stayed on track with me, and she's like, oh, what about here? Oh, what about there? And then we had to take pictures and do some other things. Oh. Some of the pictures are there. Some of the pictures aren't um, until we get to the – Somebody the just said <laughs> Heinz Field, Pennsylvania. Interesting. I have no idea. That's not by Raleigh, is it? I have no idea. So. Well, all I would say is Pennsylvania <laughs> is about a two-hour flight. Um oh. But I don't know exactly. You didn't where fly I'm anywhere, going. right? I didn't fly anywhere. Um, so um, I work 12 hours a day, but I got North Carolina from the November Charlie. Oh, they want you to, <laughs> they'd like to see the coin up close. So they want you to stop sharing the screen for a minute just so I can show this oh. up close, if you would. Uh, and then we'll come back to it. Uh, Again, this will be posted on Colazars.com under the 2019 FF coin hunt. So it'll be uh, there if anybody needs to see it. And that's something I should be able to. Oh, here we go. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, is that go. good? Did I do so it? So this is, yes, you got it. So this is the 2019 <laughs> FF coin. It says the thrill of the chase at the top oh, and forest fen treasure hunt on the bottom. Okay. And she, and Christy said her proxy item is approximately this size. It's so a little bit small. You know what you're smaller. looking for. Now this is the back. Now this one's a little different. It says 2019. Will it focus on either side? Uh, this one's a little different because there's no sequence number down here. But the one you're looking for is coin 47, right? So when you find the proxy yeah. item and let K-Pro, you found it, I'm assuming there's an identifying mark so they know. Well, uh, one, if they just tell you what it is, they'll know. And you will get well, the coin 47 in the mail. So, yeah. So what I want you to do is email to me um, or to Mike, but either one of us, I want to see a picture of the front and the back of the item that you find. I will tell you. It will be so obvious of what it is once you find, if you find it, it will be so obvious what it is, that it is related to this hunt. And I was a little clever or a little goofy. I don't know what the right word is. Mm. Um, that, well, Mike, you saw it. Is it clever or goofy or maybe a little bit of both? I think it's awesome. I would want, I would say, I would keep just that. I would not even the coin. You know what I mean? Just like the Kalazar's rock oh. is pretty awesome that Brian P got it. So yeah, I thought it was pretty cool. Yeah. So um, that I would like a picture of the front and back and send it to me. Now I will tell you, if you decide, and I'm channeling AJ here, if, if, if you actually video where you go and get it and 
return and you are willing to share that you don't have to be in it but where you actually go to the spot and you mm -hmm. take it out of its spot i will or i'm going to make mike throw in one of the forest then personal collection maps of your choice so oh, okay. i really really love the idea of the map or of the the video i just think it just makes it awesome so if you are willing to do that you get an extra map for free so and the letter of authenticity and the little um the story and all of that. So, and that's that's uh, what I did today on me and the kids' uh, boots on the ground. We I filmed it. I did. A, I vlogged it. It, did, it wasn't live, but I had the, the video of saying, "Here's where clue number one is. This takes us to clue number two, number three. Now we didn't find it, and I was going to put it out in a vlog, but I don't think I will because if it is the right location, I don't want everybody to go there. So once it's well, over, I, mean, I will put all that in a in a vlog. And if you get in hand the proxy item, you'll know it, it'll be so obvious. If you think it's like a generic rock. And you like video that probably not you're going to see something that like mike said is pretty cool i'll just say i'm not a super artist i tried my best but it's not a super art thing but it's something that i tried to come up with something that's as clever as the people in this hunt which i am not um so so jerry um, jerry just said do we need to know where right. k-pro lives so say it again it's a day's drive within raleigh north K um no you do nope. not need to know where i live <laughs> Well, Raleigh, you know North I mean. Carolina. I know. Yeah. You. Um, but Raleigh, North Carolina. So if you are within, <sighs> let's just say, what, 300 miles. Um, and I'll say it's well within that. 300 miles of Raleigh, North Carolina. It's nowhere near my home. It's nowhere near my kid's school. It's nowhere near yeah. my work. Well, they don't know um, where it, that is anyway. So, Or shouldn't, anyway. <laughs> yeah. So right. I'm just saying that it's in a kind of general open location that everybody could have for fun with. Yeah. Um, so I already talked about that. So um, if in a week's time we don't have it found, I want this found within a week. So okay. that will be that will be out for everybody. Um, so if it hasn't been found by, say, the middle of the week and nobody's, like, emailed you that they're in the right place or maybe they still can't find it, are you going to give out more clues or anything or you don't know yet? Yeah. No, I already have four or five more pictures and I have oh, okay. four or five more clues. I will be shocked. Um, but go up onto Calazar's Facebook page and there is a private messenger group that's talking about these hunts. And I would love for discussion because if it gets, I actually think within, um, well, probably even by now, it's already been located the general location. And then if it gets down to the specifics, I just think it's going to be found pretty quick. But if not, okay. I will be happy to share more and more. I've already said it's a proxy item. Um, okay, so here's the other disclaimers. Um, no tools are needed to find it. It is not buried. There might be a few leaves or something on top of it. It's hidden, but it is not buried in any way. No tools, no gloves, maybe a sandwich you have to, want to have. <laughs> and a flashlight. Um, <laughs> and, well, I don't know, so, unless you're here at night, there's no flashlight. Uh, where it's hidden is open to the public, correct? Open to the public. You don't have to pay to get in. No, you don't have to pay to get okay. in. Okay, could somebody find it at night, or should it be best for it during the day? I mean, they they could. They would need a flashlight, but okay. um, they could during the day. I think it's open during the day. I don't exactly know. I will say nothing illegal hap needs yeah, to happen yeah, yeah. to be right. able to to get it. Then it's probably um, safe to say go during the day. If it has hours, then yeah, go during go during the go during I'm sure the hours. There's lights at open. night. I've never gone yeah, yeah, there yeah. at night. I got so, you. So and. And then the only other one, because it really irritates me when this happens, and I'm channeling heat from breakfast tea and bourbon, there's no intentional red herrings. Like, if there oh, is something okay. misspelled, it's misspelled for a reason. If mm -hmm. there's something that seems like, oh, is she just throwing us off this way to do this, but it really means this way? I didn't mean to if that happens. Um, Copper Dave! Hi, Copper Dave. Copper Dan's dad. <laughs> um, and hi, AJ. Moo. Um, okay, so those are the those are the things that I think. Um, so Raleigh within a day's no tools, no buried, nothing illegal. There is a proxy item. Send me the front and back um from the location if a video you'll get your map of choice in a few days if it's not found i'll throw some more hints up but i really think it'll be found very quickly there's no red herrings um what else i don't okay here's another one that i'll just kind of throw out mike said don't tell me the solution because i'm going to try to look it up on google earth i do not believe from the google earth that i did that you can figure it out from google earth but could um, you find a location 
You can find the general location, oh, but okay. you, this will need boots. This is a true boots on the ground experience. Um, so, um, Holly Wait, just asked. Uh, oh, I think she means your, you said there's a private group. Is that what you said on Facebook? Kyle's yeah, Facebook? The, Are you, you know the one that you had to invite The messenger to group? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, okay. Anybody that wants, so there's a facebook messenger group for the calazar's grand adventure which is the puzzles i've been making but if anybody wants in on that just go to calazar's grand adventure and just post in there hey please add me to the group and i'm sure somebody in the group will add you right it's not like private like you can't get in it just means it's a private place to talk that's all i would put the puzzle back up christy there might be people that just oh, joined yeah and it'll also uh, be up on okay. calazar's grand um calazar's facebook darn it we'll post it in calazar's facebook page but it'll be up on calazars.com as well yeah. Do you see it? Yes, it's there. Okay. Okay. So, oh, <laughs> she says, I don't want my coworkers thinking I'm cuckoo. And Sledneck says, too late. I also say that too late. <laughs> yeah, nice. Yeah. So, um, so those are all the the hints and things that I was going to give out. And okay. I mean, we read there it. it. Is. We have, yeah. So, I have no um, clue, but all right. <laughs> okay. And I, I just think it's so obvious. I don't know. Well, because you know, it's always obvious. Like, I'm sure Boots on the Ground thought theirs was so obvious, but I just spent four hours looking for it and couldn't find it. So <laughs> Don't be bitter. I don't know you if I'm in the right spot or not. Me. You um, got away from your texting uh, machine, my friend. Take some leave and go lay down. I haven't been hiking <laughs> in a long time. Oh, it's good for you. And I'm sure the kids probably, if I were to guess, slept on the way back and now yeah, they're all fired yeah, up. Yeah, <laughs> they're all on Xbox, yeah. <laughs> course yeah not, but don't worry they're probably with my son playing xbox so they're good nah. <laughs> so, okay so um are there any questions before we sign off and say thank you all all right that's it everybody coin 47 is up for grabs this will lead you right to it according to capro and um yeah and if it doesn't capro will give you some uh, some more clues during the week so subscribe to the youtube channel and uh hit that little bell because you never know when we're going to go live with the next hunt which will actually be pretty soon the next hunt is already planned so um it'll be here in the next couple weeks so and i'll give you guys uh progress on my boots on the ground searches see if i can find this thing or not <laughs> All and right. yes, thank you, Boots on the Ground Clothing. We're still supporting. Yeah, definitely. Eric awesome. wore the Boots on the Ground hoodie while we were out there. So you'll see that in the vlog that I make. Um, so yeah, uh, thanks a lot. That worked. I had the hoodie on, then I took it off and gave it to him because it got cold out there. So um, yeah, I guess that's it. Uh, do we have any plans for going live next week at all? I guess there's no real plans, but we could all, like I say, hit the subscribe and notify button because we go live whenever we feel like it at this well, point. Well, we so. talked about Monday night on the coin thing. If I can get all the coin stuff together, this kind of yeah. threw a loop in that. I don't know if I can yeah. get that together in time, it's, but if I can, yeah. great. It won't be Forest Fen related. That's going to be, for me at least, um, at least a couple months out, um, if not more. Um, but I, I mean, Mike can go live anytime. Mike, there were some <laughs> questions out there. I don't know if you have I know. about that. Yeah, so. and I may do a vlog, but it won't be live. It'll probably be one of the old school vlogs. If one of the old school Forest fans said what vlog. So we'll see. Yeah. Um, uh, today I was actually going to do it, but we ended up spending uh, the day out hiking. Um, and the other thing is I posted a picture in the Grand Adventure about the penny challenge and said day one and posted one penny. So Copper Dan had it. Somebody said, what's that all about? So if you take a penny and you double it every day, within a month, you'll have a million dollars, which when I heard that, I thought, wow, that's crazy. So you go one penny, two pennies, four pennies, eight cents, 16, and it starts out really slow. But once you get up to 100 bucks, 200, 400, 800, in 30 days, you'll have a million dollars. So I was kind of thinking about that, and I thought, huh, how could, we, uh, how could I actually do it, one? Well, it's not like I'm making that money. You're not going to put a penny in the bank and get a penny in a day. But I do live out here in Las Vegas, so you never know. There might be something there that me and K-Pro could do to try and uh, to try and get that million dollars or maybe not a million dollars, but you know, make a goal, some kind of a oh, goal. A million. a million. What are you talking about? A million. We're so good. Well, there's a possibility of it. The likelihood is not high. Yeah, of course. Let's go for it. But let's the reason I bring it up is because we're going to bring all of you along and we're going to make it fun for you guys too. And we'll have details on that later on once we work out those details. But that's what penny a day was all about. I just thought of the idea of you take a penny and you double it every day. And within 30 days, you would have a million dollars. Isn't that crazy? So 
And then people talk about compound interest, but what I'm talking about is not interest because I don't have the money in a bank. You know what I mean? But uh, I guess maybe it's the same principle. I don't know. Yeah, and actually, Mike told me his details. He's being a little fuzzy <laughs> right now. I'm like, let's do it. And he's mm -hmm. like, okay. So I think it would be very cool. And you guys would need to weigh in each week or so on what we do to make that million dollar happen. I don't, and then I think some of the cut, I don't know how that would work. Mike and I are still working on it, but I think <laughs> it would be super fun, super cool. So we'll see, we'll see what that means. Oh, Boots on the Ground Clothing is in the house. Hey, there um, he is. What's going on? I became a treasure of an official treasure hunter today because I made my own treasure hunt boots on the ground. And yeah. this is what I wore. I channeled you. Treasure hunts um, everywhere, which is awesome. BOTGclothing.com. Go check it out. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, $1,500 is up for grabs if I don't get it first, but I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see if I'm on the right track or not. And boots on the ground clothing, you may have said this, but when when are we going East Coast, baby? I mean, East Coast is the place <laughs> to be. This West Coast stuff or West stuff, I mean, you have Forest Fen. You have that's not West Coast. That's Midwest, basically. There's There's a, been a, a treasure hunt in California that I know of in a long time. I don't want to go more than five hours. And don't tell me Oak Island. <laughs> uh, come on. Come on. Give me something. So boots on the ground clothing, I think, uh, hopefully you come East Coast soon. Cause, and I will tell you that the silver coins, we're going to have a variety of them. Some people have been asking different places um, that they're going to go. But, you, yeah, I mean, that's going to be in store for, I'm being nice and telling you it's kind of an, it's within a day's drive of North Carolina. That won't necessarily be the case in the future because a few are getting hidden as we speak. So Cool. Okay. Anyway. All right, everybody, I think that's it, right? Anything else, K-Pro? Nope, that's it. <clears throat> that's the treasure hunt for Coin47. Good luck. Again, I'll put it in the Kalazar's Grand Adventure Facebook group. It'll be on Kalazar's.com by tomorrow. Uh, K-Pro should put it up on Hint of Riches, so it'll be out there for anybody in this video. You know, if you need to watch it, just pause it in this video. So, anybody got questions oh, or anything? Davio, no. <laughs> Davio's saying, where does the money come from this doubling? Let's... Is it like a Ponzi scheme? No. Oh, Ponzi. No, no, no. not at all. Let me no. put it this way. I live in Las Vegas, so that might be a clue on where it would come from. But we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. No, we would just want to get everybody kind of involved. And it's shocking to hear that most treasure hunters are men, and men might follow some sports from here to <laughs> there. I don't know. Like, <laughs> it's, it's funny. So, and Anybody remember uh, Eddie Murphy used to do Velvet Jones on the Saturday Night Live in the 70s? It's like this uh, salesman type guy with a red suit on, Velvet Jones, and he used to say, I guarantee you, if everybody sends me $9.99, one of us is going to get rich. <laughs> so, no, I'm not asking for money for anybody. This no. is something that I would be doing, but I would just, me and Capro would be doing, but we would just bring you along and put it in YouTube Fine. videos so you could follow along. That's all. Okay, hold on. AJ said next Forest Fen Gold Medallion Hunt comes out February 11th. Oh, that's two in days. Gap Mountains. All right, AJ. Okay. So I'm I, assuming I, you're AJ. exempt because you found one. But if you figured it out, you could let somebody else know to go find it, right? So okay. Yeah. So AJ, you know where I live, and AJ, you're empty-handed right now. So um. Yeah, that's I'm true. So yeah. Bitter about you. You're a cow, and I mean that in a loving way. But um. So he he. I asked him to name his price and he gave it to someone else or traded, whatever. No, Mike, you're going to defend him. So don't fit. Don't <laughs> defend your fellow cow. I'm not happy. Anon, anon, do the math. He just said, no way is it a million dollars. One penny. Look it up on YouTube. Look up a penny doubled a day. You'll see it on YouTube. One, pe one penny. Two cents, four cents, eight cents, 16, 32, 64, dollar 28. And you keep going every day and you will have a million dollars in 30 days. Doesn't sound right because it's all off a penny, but it's true. So, hey, well, I'm trying to buy a house. I want a down payment. So I'm going to try and add, do this uh, experiment, and I'll bring you guys along for the ride. Well, and there's a, there is a, a famous bet. Do you want me to give you a penny a day or a million dollars? Which one do you want? Which one would make you more money? A in penny a, a day time? that doubles every day. Yeah, that yeah. doubles okay. every day for a month. Or mm -hmm. and as long as that month, I, even if the month is February, it still goes over a million, which is. Yeah, which is a yeah. lot of money. It's crazy. So. Okay. Other cows can can try. He is not eligible. Okay. Well, maybe. Well, okay. So 
maybe a million pennies. If okay. I was closer yeah. to the Appalachian Mountains, yeah. Um, but okay, so yeah, treasure hunts everywhere. Jenny Kyle's Boots on the Ground, ours. The Grand Adventure's going on. If you can't do a Boots on the Ground, you can win one that way. That's on callasers.com. A uh, series yeah. of puzzles that I created. We'll see if you guys can solve them or not. And there's still plenty of time to get caught up on those, so... Yeah, uh, hit subscribe on the channel, if you would, please. And, um, yeah, you never know. We're going to come out with something new. We got plans uh, that we're, we're still talking about. So it should be fun. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. All right, now, everybody. It's out there. Let's see. I would like to see it solved. You know, get me something by tomorrow, like end of the day. It should be a nice day out tomorrow. It'll be a little cold, but come on, make it happen. So everybody email K-Pro and let her know where you're searching, <laughs> which is actually fun when you hear. So, you know, if you're like, oh, you're totally in the wrong spot, but you can't tell them that. You just kind of, you know, I guess you got to play it. Say no comment, answer, no comment. And yeah. I won't answer any. There was been some questions that I've had on other, like, you guys think that I actually know where the other silver ones are. Um, Mike. Uh, no, I don't. But and also some people asked me if I would go boots on the ground for them for some of these other hunts. And I will not. I will go boots on the ground for the secret. I will go boots on the ground beacon. I will go boots on the ground for other hunts. But anything related to these medallions, even Jen, well, probably not Jenny's medallions because I don't really know anything about those. Um, but anything related to any of the silver ones, I won't. Like Copper Dan has one that's silver. I don't know much about it, but no, I I have lots of so I, I probably would not even if it was close to me so um but any of the other ones yeah like i've already gone for somebody on the secret so um and i get that pump of boots on the ground so anyway okay cool everybody thank you all right and on and on check it out you'd be surprised how much <laughs> uh, how much that adds up to um okay we'll see you sometime this week we will go live at some point this week see everybody we'll see you later on <laughs>